All right, so I'm back at the shop here, and I guess I'll do another walk around. Last time it was in the winter, there was snow everywhere, so we get to see things a bit differently now. All right, so again, 2001 Xterra, bought it from a guy for 500 bucks. It ran, but ran poorly. Um, just needed a tune-up, but the guy had a, ran into a, uh, a guardrail on the highway and smashed the whole front driver's side corner like basically where I'm looking at right now and had to replace the upper controller arms and tie rod ends ball joints and things like that and then uh obviously as you can even see a little bit of the damage still from the twisted metal from where he had hit so uh, it's a five speed which was what I was looking for uh it's four wheel drive so what I've done to it so far cosmetically is from what you can see is I have um the supercharged wheels got some Got some uh, cheap Amazon, eBay mutters. Um, they get did, uh, pretty good reviews, but uh, anyways, everything about this build was supposed to be cheap and budgeted, and for the most part it is, but I do have some good quality parts in there. So the hood is off of a 2002. I was lucky enough to find a black one at the junkyard, so I just grabbed it, slapped it on, and I like it. Um, the headlights are eBay headlights. I think they fit Jeep Wranglers. I liked them because they were round to kind of match the uh, 2002, 2004s. Uh, completely functional, has turn signals and daytime running lights. Um, they're pretty bright. Um, made my own front uh, grill, if you will. Brush guards, all uh, mild steel. Um, so it'll take any impact of uh, any rocks or trees if I go off-roading. There's the intercooler again, eBay special. Um, here's an extreme modif modification here. My uh, washer bottle check that out it's a cork it's super fast and super good it works uh the fenders for the front were some well done fenders for a trailer i had it sitting around so cut them to size and welded them on and painted them black it works um obviously let's do the roll cage i guess Again, I'm not here to start a controversy and argument. Some of you guys are internet engineers who think you guys know everything about everything about everything and who has an opinion about everything and who is smarter than me and better than me. But in reality, you're just not as cool as me because I am bald and I am better. So I want to point out, though, if we're going to talk about specifics of things, here is your B pillar, right? This is very thin metal. Granted, it's a lot of it but it's in a rectangular shape that is collapsible, right? It's not as strong as you might think. The piping, it's about two inch in diameter. The th wall thickness is a little shy of a quarter of an inch. It's like, if I, last time I measured, I think it was like 0. Uh, 0.242 or 243 or something like that. So it's, it's stupid strong pipe, guys. It's not gonna, it's not gonna collapse. It's not gonna, you know, just fall off while I'm driving and things stupid. And I want to point out that this roll cage I bought was for a Jeep Cherokee. It's not something that I just kind of pieced together. It's for a Jeep. For crying out loud, it's for a Jeep, right? So, and the thickest point of any structural integrity is this clobbering mess of metal right there. Yes, I get it. When it's all formed together, it's probably pretty strong, no doubt. But think about it. That's as strong as any thickness point right there quarter inch thick roughly you know and it's in a circular diameter a 360 degree circle is a stronger shape than any shape right it's the strongest shape of all in geometry so at any rate i'm not going to get into whose balls are bigger with you know uh roll bars and whatnot it doesn't matter this is it's going to work fine and look i'm not doing backflips i'm not going off of you know monster truck rally and trying to compete against these big you know trucks and doing backflips and barrel rolls it's simply to go on dirt roads and cruise around with the family and to have some seatbelt harnesses tied to it. If it rolled over, I can guarantee you it'd be fine. What speed will I be going? Probably 20 or 30 because I'm not really commuting on the highway with this thing. This is just for my rural life living and there's a bunch of off-road trails out here. So just get over it, move on. Anyways, end rant. The seats are some generic eBay seats. I think I was able to get them for a set of four shift. I talked the guy down to 350 shipped and then the seat belts are just four point harness seat belts energy in rg brand um which is i guess a good brand the speakers are some pioneer speakers they're not expensive i think i bought all four of them for 
I think it was like 60, 80 bucks. And then the boxes were 25 bucks for a pair. So um, I just wanted some tunes because it gets pretty boring when you're just hearing nothing but road noise and exhaust and whatever else. So the kids, the kids like it. We put Batman songs on it or whatever and they get a kick out of it. Um, this is my storage box. It is a super high density plastic neoprene Kevlar reinforced titanium uh, Batman speci you know, specified approved plastic tote. True story. It works. You hold stuff. Got that four inch PVC pipes right here to cover my cuts. And look how good I was at cutting out the fuel door. It works. I can put gas in it and everything. Um, yeah. So let's pop the hood. Take a look. Oh, and take this out. My exhaust. I did a pretty good job cutting that hole. Um, it is a two and a half inch straight pipe exhaust. No cat, but it does have a Magnaflow muffler. Magnaflow muffler, I think it was like 65 bucks. So let's pop the hood. I can't believe I did that with one hand. All right, get the hood prop on. Okay, so it is officially now a VG33ER. I have 86 300ZX cams in there to get rid of the truck cams. So it has a little more aggressive cam profile with a little bit more uh, uh, duration in the cams. Um, got the eBay R32 aluminum radiator. Uh, I did custom mounts, check that out. Got some vacuum line over this, over the mount there. And oh my goodness, does it work? It works well. So T3, T4 off eBay. I have no idea what the specs are. It doesn't matter because it goes, pss, 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 makes turbo noises and it works. It's cool. And then uh, two and a half inch aluminum piping. Like I said earlier, eBay intercooler, it works. Um, all the manifolds were off of eBay. Some Chinese cheap aluminum, or not aluminum, sorry, stainless steel piping. Uh, I reinforced the heck out of it with more weld with my um, with my TIG, and I welded V-bands on it everywhere. And then, uh, like I said, T3, T4, uh, snake the uh, exit of the exhaust down past the steering shaft, and it goes straight down on the vehicle. So... I actually did a you know decent job getting it all fitted in there and there's the uh passenger side and they you can see the v-band um they merge they collect underneath the bell housing and shoot back up near the uh, drive shaft the front drive shaft and it's just the only way i can get to work and i'm actually really surprised about the uh, the, the uh, turbo lag it's almost non-existent um I'm just I'm just shocked because I have my 700 horsepower Z car with you know equal length manifolds as well and there's significant um, turbo lag but that's a completely different build with different specs so this is off of an earlier uh, pathy and you just have to ch shiv or shim shave off a little uh, bit of plastic there to get it to fit and it's just to uh, prevent a lot of moisture and dust from contaminating the uh, the top of your plug wire so if you can find one at junkyard i'd highly recommend it um but yeah i mean overall i mean it's all here it all works I, I would like to get a found shroud but even as it was 92 degrees yesterday hitting boost came to a light and you know never saw any overheating um but you know like i said the motor's been fully rebuilt oem parts other than the uh head studs which are arp and um yeah, I mean, aftermarket VG33 ER pistons that are coated, but, you know, brand new OEM water pump, brand new oil pump from Nissan, thermostats from Nissan, so, um, NGK spark plugs. I'm, I'm wondering if these are not as good condition as I thought they were. They were on the vehicle when I bought it. I thought they were new, but they look pretty nasty, Then in some areas they're starting to crack. So yesterday I ordered some NGK uh, spark plug wiring, which I'll uh, put in there. Um, but for those who plan to turbo or turbo later, you'll want to uh, gap your spark plugs down to, uh, I did mine to 0 0.028, I believe. So I think factory is 0 0.045 ish around there, but that way you can, uh, run boost without getting any concerns of spark blowout. That's a little cheap little trick you can do. Anyways, folks, uh, what else are we going to talk about? My uh, Home Depot special snorkel, super cool. Got a Folgers coffee can, little air box around it. It's 
spray painted it black. A uh, little uh, LED bar from Amazon. It was on sale for like 18 bucks, but everything works. It's a pretty cool vehicle. The kids love it. Like I said, we were out for like four hours yesterday. Had a good time. So, all right, well, I'm going to let you guys roll. Let me know what your thoughts are. If you're going to be negative, don't be negative. It's not worth your energy, not worth your effort. Personally, I don't care if you're going to be negative and be a naysayer. This is not your ride. This is my ride. If you want to buy it, it's for sale for over a million dollars. And uh, I don't know, maybe I'll trade you. Uh, if you have a Viper or something cool, I can trade you straight up for it. I think that's a fair deal. All right, folks, talk to you later.